It's time for another blind test video where Anna oh. and I are going to see if we can tell the difference between what is essentially the gaming PC equivalent of Saitama and just like a solid gaming laptop. Now I know on the surface this may seem a little bit pointless. Obviously you can tell the difference between a 3080 and a laptop based 2060. It's like doing a blind test comparison between a glass of water and a pint of straw rum. But it's actually more nuanced than that. We did learn some things, make some friendships, had good laughs, memories, all those things. But before we get into that, we have a sponsor for today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Linode, which is an affordable, powerful way to host Linux-based servers in the cloud. If you want to host your own game servers, Linode is for you. They support games like Rust, CSGO, and Minecraft. The Java edition, which we all know is clearly superior to the Bedrock edition. You can also use Linode to host your own Plex servers, which is very useful. If you're looking for a place to host your new WordPress website, Linode is an affordable and reliable option for that. Not only that, but Linode has some of the best customer support in the business. I mean, just look at how seriously this dude takes his customer support. Regardless of your pay tier, you'll get through to a person that'll help you sort out your problem. If this sounds good, sign up using the link in my description for a $100 60 day credit. Thank you very much Linode for sponsoring this video. Before we get into the tests, let me just set the scene for you a little bit, starting with the system specifications. Now, as far as the Ubermatron gaming PC goes, it's some of the best gaming performance you can get at the moment. The CPU it has in it is an i9-10850K, which has 10 cores and 20 threads running at 5.1 gigahertz. As far as the graphics card goes, we have this Chonkamatron RTX 3080, Many Matrons here today for some reason. And then finally it's paired with 32 gigs of DDR4 3200 megahertz. Now in terms of the laptop that we're using for this comparison, it's the Razer Blade 15 that I used in a comparison video with its six year old stablemate in my last video. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out in the description below. Um, but basically this laptop is based around an i7 10750H, which has a mere paltry six cores and 12 threads, which is significant significantly less than the i9, and it runs at about 4 GHz if you're lucky while gaming. As far as the graphics card goes, it's got an RTX 2060, which is a much smaller number than the 3080. And then finally, it's got 16 gigs of RAM running a DDR4 2666 megahertz. Now that we've had a look at the specs, let me just run you through how I actually went about doing these blind tests. Now I set up a monitor, uh, multiple monitors, depending on the resolution that we used, and I'll get into that a bit later, but I set up a monitor with a mouse, keyboard, and a set of headphones in one room, and then I had the PC and the laptop set up in another room, and then I connected them with long HDMI 2.0 cables. I also manually set their fan speeds, so yeah, you wouldn't be able to hear any variation because they were just at max tilt the whole time anyway. Other than that, we used Battlefield 5 running at high settings, which is not a super demanding game, but it is pretty demanding. And we started off with 1080p resolution, but we moved up to 1440p and tried some different settings later on as well, but we'll deal with all of that as we get to it. So now, with the boring stuff out of the way, let's have a look at the test situation. So here we have control number one. Okay, so I'm not a Battlefield Pro. Um, where do, do, do I just run? Do I just like see? Yeah, just go forward basically. Uh, hey, you killed someone. Okay, so this isn't actually, this doesn't feel like it's the best experience ever. Oh, but that's actually just because I'm running slow. We may have forgotten the headphones for the first one, but it's just a control, yes. so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Ooh, that's my per person, my bad. <gasps> this feels more jumpy. Oh, this feels way more stuttery. Do I keep reloading on purpose? Okay, so we just finished the two control tests. What we do you did. think? So, comparing A and B, I found it very difficult to tell the difference, but I have a suspicion that B is the laptop. B is the slower device, I think, but I'm not sure. Okay. We'll have to discuss. Okay, so now let's do the eight blind test results where you don't know if I'm changing or not. Okay. Ooh. Oh, you got someone. Good job. That was pretty nice. Nice. Uh, it's a really good gaming experience. Like, I have no qualms with this. So what, what do you think this is? 
I would say this is the laptop. Okay, cool. Yo, I'm struggling to tell the difference. Like, this is just a good gaming experience. So, which one do you think it is? <laughs> um, I think it's a laptop. Mm -hmm. I've thought the last three have been laptop. Oh, I'm gonna die again. Look at my... <laughs> Yo, <no. laughs> Yo, you're so bad. So, what do you think? Do you think this one's the PC? I think this was the PC. Okay, very good. Test number four. Okay, I'm just gonna be straight up and say that I cannot tell the difference currently. I'm just... Oh! <laughs> um, I'm gonna say that this one, I feel like this is really smooth again, so I'm gonna say that this is the uh, PC. Test number six. Okay, so this is... Uh, I think this one's the, the, the PC. I think it's really good. I think it's really smooth. Test number eight. eight. Ooh, okay, I think this is... That bomb was super high def, so I'm gonna say this is the PC. <laughs> So here are the results. Uh, I don't know if you can make sense of what my what my notation is, but here you go. All right. Um, that's pretty foul. I think the last one was a really clear indication of those two because I went from the gaming PC a couple rounds so that you can potentially oh, get used to I how see. the PC feels mm -hmm. and then move down to the laptop, which if there was a big performance difference between the two, I feel like you should have noticed it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was very little performance difference between them. I really, really basically couldn't tell the difference. I, the, the whole time it just felt like a great gaming experience. The, there were, bleh, there weren't any particularly large stutters and it was just so hard to tell the difference. <laughs> Test number one. Either it's the PC again, or I really can't tell the difference. <laughs> um, That's the look of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the laptop, but yo, it's so close. Uh, this is the PC. <laughs> I think this is the laptop again. But yeah, yeah, I think this is the PC again. David's results are fairly decent. Only fairly de eight out of ten. Okay. So it was the last two. You. The last one was the laptop. The last one was the laptop. Yo, it felt it. It honestly felt exactly the same as the previous one. This is really impressive because I was convinced this was the PC. Mm. Like it is so close. Yeah. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna switch over to a higher end gaming monitor, and this is where there's gonna be a big difference in my opinion. I think going to the 1440p monitor, it's gonna be like, you're easily gonna be mm. able to tell the difference. Okay. So now we're trying out something that's much less in the laptop's favor. We're doing 1440p. 1440p. Test oh. number one. This feels like the PC. Can I change? I mean, I, I know I can't really change my answer, but I, I think that the last one was the laptop, and then this one's maybe the PC. I think okay. it's the PC. Test number five. Maybe it's the laptop? No, maybe it's the PC. Okay, why do you think that? Um, it seems pretty smooth. I think it's the PC. You think this one's the PC? I think it's the PC. Okay. This feels like the PC again, I think. Oh wait, but you said that this was the PC again. So yes. you think that this is the same as the previous one? Yes. Here are the results. Anna, here you go. What? So yeah, you were pretty close, but you said that the last two were the same. So how how much of a difference could you really feel? The difference was very subtle. It was kind of more instinctual. Like as I started playing, there would be some times where it would feel slightly more stuttery and sometimes it would be fine and it would be kind of the same. But session. so it, it still so wasn't really, night really and it still it wasn't, wasn't night. It and wasn't night as day. It was not as clear cut as David made me think it was gonna be. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, let, <laughs> let's see if let's see if it's clear cut for me. Okay. Oh, this is definitely the PC. Test number two, two, two. Yeah, this is the PC. Okay, test number three. Three. Yeah, this is the laptop. Yep, this is the PC. This is the PC again. And this is the laptop. This is the laptop again. <laughs> <laughs> Test number eight. Cool. This is the PC. It feels like the difference between a laptop and a high-end gaming <laughs> system. <laughs> like, this is exactly the difference I'd expect. It's, yeah. it's huge. Let's have David's points revealed. I, I really dun, hope I got dun, everything dun. right. It's, it's a night and day difference. Yeah, you me. could tell immediately. It's, it's huge. I, I'm actually really surprised you couldn't tell. 
After doing my blind 1440p comparison tests, I was very surprised that Anna said that she couldn't reliably tell the difference between the two and she was mostly guessing. So I explained to her specifically what differences to look out for and then we redid her tests where she still couldn't reliably tell the difference between the two. So after this we said, okay, screw it, we're just gonna go balls to the wall here. We're gonna crack the game settings to ultra and turn on ray tracing. At this point she could easily tell the difference. But, I mean, the Blade 15 was running at an average of like 30 frames per second, so it would have been really weird if she couldn't in that situation. But I still think that this has taught us some interesting things about perceived gaming performance. Let me know in the comment section below what your main takeaways are from this video, but for me, there are a couple that stand out. Now the first, and definitely the biggest takeaway for me from all of this, is the fact that frame rate doesn't seem to matter as much as you'd think. Despite the fact that at 1080p, there was a huge frame rate difference between these two systems, a frame rate difference that mostly fell within the refresh rate of the monitor, which means we should have seen the difference, it was very difficult for both Anna and I to reliably tell the difference between the two. In fact, that last test of mine at 1080p, I was so convinced that it was the gaming PC over the laptop that I actually went and double checked the inputs of the monitor. Like, they feel so similar at that resolution. Which brings me to point number two. Monitor are a huge bottleneck. If you're gaming at 1080p, like most people are, you really don't need to care about getting modern high-end hardware. In fact, even with a high refresh rate 1440p monitor, a 3080 is overkill for most games. Most games. And then the second big takeaway for me is the fact that perceived performance improvement is relative. So just because there's a measurable performance difference of like 30% between two components, doesn't mean that there's gonna be a perceived 30% difference between the two of them, and that's gonna change from person to person. So yeah, I don't know how useful that information is, but if you like this video or found it entertaining or whatever, like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And until the next video, bye-bye.